So I'm so delighted to be with all of you here today, President Avon and the leadership team at Northeastern. Thank you for inviting me. To Senator Warren, who is not here anymore, and Senator Markey, who is a good friend, and to Representative McGovern, Representative Lynch, and Representative Presley, I cannot thank you enough for your strong support of science at this very important moment for our country and strong support of the Chips and Science Act. We could not do this without your strong investments. That's what the nation needs, and thank you so much. You work hard every day to deliver that. The only request I have is let's make the science authorizations true appropriations, because this is the time our nation needs it. Thank you. To Governor Healy and Mayor View, who I tell you, you truly are examples of what we need in leadership in addition to the federal leadership. It makes me feel so warm. And when people talk about the cynicism and pessimism that they have, they have no idea what they are talking about. I keep talking about this to everybody. You see our leaders and their commitment. I know the better places are ahead of us. So let me tell you, this EXP building, I was thinking about it, even sitting down here, thinking about EXP, it's an exciting place. That's what EXP stands for. <laughs> it's an exciting place. And the other way of looking at EXP is truly an exemplar and an example of what our nation needs all across our nation. Why? Because of the third EXP, because it is going to make excellent progress. Excellent progress for solving societal problems, economic issues, as well as national security issues. This truly is a reflection of excellence. And so what you have created here is truly mind-boggling, but that's not surprising. Considering the leadership of what Northeastern represents, as you have heard from all of the speakers that have spoken before, but I can tell you from NSF perspective, the investments that NSF is making in Northeastern University, believe it or not, this is the third largest institution that NSF invests in in the state of Massachusetts. Woods Hole, MIT, Northeastern. That truly speaks to the excellence in ideas. Excellence in terms of the students here. When I was talking about James, we've got at least hundreds of them here. But that's not enough. We need millions. And that's what NSF is committed to doing in partnership with you. I always talk about NSF as the following. It is an enabler. It is a catalyst. It is at best an investor. The real work happens in places, great places like Northeastern University. And we need Northeastern University, all the educational institutions, community colleges, yes, the K-12 institutions, all of them need to perform at the highest level of intensity. This is the time to not leave any talent behind. Not one ounce of talent in our nation should be left behind. That's why when I came to NSF three years ago, I said inclusion is a central pillar of NSF and how we are going to advance into the future. Without inclusion, we will not have the greatest ideas or the greatest innovations or the greatest impact because inclusion is central to everything. When you bring the inclusive mindset, you solve problems like climate change, like pandemics. You solve all of these problems in its fullest form. And that's what we need at this point in time. And therefore, this building represents that in full measure because interdisciplinary work, inspirations coming from multiple disciplines. This morning I had the opportunity, opportunity of watching this in action through the many quick vignettes that were presented to me by the various faculty members. Whether it's Jikshu as a new faculty member waiting to get that career award, to Mary, who's doing an amazing job by bringing in the Native American community and making them successful, 20 faculty being realized from the Native American community, that is the kind of work that is needed. And I'm so glad that Northeastern University is pioneering that class of work, and that's what we need to do more of. So this infrastructure, I'm going to go with eyes here, so that you'll remember this. The eye infrastructure is going to make possible eye inspiration 
which is then going to make possible ideas. And those ideas, when you implement them, causes the I innovation. And that innovation at scale all across our nation, not anywhere left behind, not any state, not any territory left behind, when it is unleashed in its full scale, is going to create the last I, which is the impact. Inspiration, ideas, implemented in its fullest form, innovation, results in impact, and that's made possible by the IE infrastructure, which is this great EXP building today. <laughs> they told me, they warned me, you are a professor, you're used to 15-minute lecture slots. We are not going to give you that. So I have to close, but I will only say one thing. Please make sure, as you are thinking about this, the people that won't get touched by this building need to get touched by this building. I love the fact that you have this unbelievable 13 campuses across our nation and abroad. But let's make sure that those students who would not have a chance to experience this need to be brought in at least once. Because if they see this, their trajectory will be changed forever. I have seen this personally. In my own research, I have seen this personally, where an individual was blind and visually impaired, David Hayden, how when, he, when given the opportunity, he won the highest of the honors, which is the Microsoft Imagine Cup. And that's a story to be told. You can go check it out. And then did his PhD at MIT. I know that it is possible that if we only can do that at scale, we would be competitive, hyper-competitive and we would be in the vanguard of innovation, there is nothing to worry. And so I share that optimism, enthusiasm, and I know that it will be implemented in its fullest form, and that Northeastern will be in the vanguard of such universities, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be with all of you today. Thank you.